this is the generation we have found ourselves in. Generation that is arguing everything. A generation that sees giving a pastor as being mugu for pastor. As being manipulated by a pastor. They do not believe in giving to a pastor. They believe it is a pastor's job to pray for them. But it's not a pastor's job to receive from them. This is the generation you have been called into. And if you have been called into such a generation, what then do you do? Do you resign to faith? Do you steal? How do you now raise resources to be able to do the work of ministry? You must think out of the box. As a pastor, I know God called you in 1997 and you resigned your job. I know some of you have that story. You resigned your job. You could not do any work. I want to ask you, how is market now? Because even though you resigned your job, yes, because even though God called you and told you to resign your job, listen to me, the world is changing. The people are changing. In the book of Timothy, it said, perilous times are coming when people will become lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. So they don't, they, they, they even God, they don't love God. How would they love you? That is why you have to care for yourself. Pastor, don't make your wife regret being married to a pastor. Pastor, don't make your children regret tell, tell themselves that in, if I ever come to this world again, I will never be a child of a pastor. Don't make your children regret church ministry. In fact, reject church ministry because of the sufferings they have seen you go through. Every day you are explaining to them why they have to eat soup without meat. Why they have to eat their rice with palm oil. Because you are a pastor. They will ask you, Papa, did we ask you to become pastor? What is our suffering in this? If you know that this is the kind of life you can afford, why did you bring us to suffer like this? Don't make your children regret and reject the call of God upon their lives simply because of the kind of suffering that they saw you go through. Ministry finance is good, though, but personal finance is important. If you have personal finance as a pastor, there are some insults members will not give you. There are some members that want to correct what you are preaching. They want to tell you the topic to preach. They want to organize your preaching for you so that it will not be very offensive. If that person was the person that was buying uh, engine oil and fuel for your generator, will you preach a harder message? You will look for one soft message and preach outside God's will for you. Simply because if you don't preach what they want you to preach, no fuel in generator and the microphone will not work. Personal finance is essential. That is why we encourage pastors to engage in multiple streams of income. As a pastor, it is not every business you can do. But as a pastor, there are businesses you can do.